it is our first day in plop dip. I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet because my arm is on fire because it's hard to hold this gear. But take it away. I was actually doing some reading that Plovdiv is older than even the Roman times. Um, so the layer mm. or the the city actually is like built on different layers depending on the time it was. So we're just gonna spend the day walking around trying to explore the new city, like eat some foods, and uh, play a bear. There we go. And if everybody wants to see what it looks like whenever we film like this, check this out. Okay, we're gonna start very serious face for this statue. What's your best serious face? Ready? <laughs> Kinsey, what do we go do without mommy and Erica while they're on the walking tour? Get ice cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. We stopped for lunch at the top of the Old Town Hill overlooking the city. It's very pretty. And right off the bat, the first thing we noticed, which Erica finds more interesting than myself, is ice. Seems to be a luxury amongst most of Europe. But on top of that, we've been doing a little research. We're going to try and do some of the more traditional foods here in Bulgaria. One thing that we started out with was rakia. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Most definitely am. Traditionally combined with the Shopskia salad, which we also got. And we'll try this out. I'm nervous. It's very strong. I'm gonna make a funny face, aren't I? Am I gonna make a face, Kinsey? Yeah. <laughs> Did I hold it together? My insides are tingling on fire. Oh, everybody else needs to try it, except Kinsey. <laughs> it's like uh, rubbing alcohol with a hint of grape. You want to go on too? It tastes the rubbing alcohol. <laughs> So yummy. <laughs> maybe the salad will elevate it. Yeah, maybe the salad will take it to the next level. We'll save the rest for the salad. One of the things we ordered is called tartour. Um, it is a chilled soup that has cucumbers, yogurt, and dill. Uh, all the things which I really enjoy. But I still don't know exactly how I feel about cold soup. We will find out. I twitch. It's basically a pickle in a soup. So yes, it's good. Delicious. Mm. That's solid. That's good. Shopska. So, Shopska should be a Shopska salad. Basically a salad with tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and some, was it goat cheese? Not goat cheese, just Bulgarian white cheese. That's so good. The cheese is on point. You guys are gonna love this. The cheese is on point. Very refreshing. If you're on a hot summer day, get a Shopska salad. So refreshing. Shopska salad. Shopska salad. Very refreshing. Shopska salad. Traditionally served with the rakia. The last thing we ordered were some cabbage rolls. This is not quite what I expected. They're more like little cabbage bites. They still look really good. They're cute. Um, yeah, let's see. I like them. They're certainly, they have a different taste than the ones that we just had in Romania. And they don't have like a yogurt dipping sauce the same way. They're good. I like them. 
kind of have like, like a, a little like a chewy, tangy. tangy. Yeah, like a, a tang to it's them. Really good. <laughs> Are they good? I'm not eating that again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Food was delicious. Let's uh, keep exploring the town. The old town of Plovdiv was made on three separate hills of Plovdiv and they made these beautiful houses that were essentially built on the old architecture. Um, the one that we are going to visit now um, is one of the most beautiful per guide. They have turned a lot of these houses, the old houses, into so sorts of museums, but this one is supposedly pretty. So let's go check it out. We're still kind of figuring out what we do. However, uh, we have to put on shoe covers, so. This is quite an elaborate bathroom for nowadays standards, especially for 1800 standards. This whole room is just like beautiful, massive. I believe that this fountain used to be the one where they had rose oil that basically just showed how rich this owner was. Um, there's normally rose water running in it, so it smells of rose, um, but it's not running right now, unfortunately. Like this, this whole place was built for one family, so it's pretty impressive. What sitting room? Because why not? Another sitting room. A bigger sitting room. Sorry, this is apparently the off. Where you could also sit. <laughs> Another bigger sitting room. This is actually my favorite sitting room. It's very bright, it has like gold colors. Yeah, this is my favorite sitting room. We were told about places that the family or the husband had visited that he liked to recount like in paintings and murals. This is my favorite bedroom. It just feels very grand, beautiful sitting area. The house itself, I think, is just beautiful. I feel like you kind of take a little bit of a step back in time. It was renovated, so I don't know exactly which fixtures are from the 1800s versus part of the renovation, but it's overall a well-preserved house. It's just a couple US dollars to go in and visit. I think it is worth it just to spend a couple dollars take a look. It's really pretty. Each room kind of has its own vibe, color scheme, and I love it. I would live here. On the way down from Old Town, you kind of run into Kapana, which is another another one of the parts of like the older part of Plovdiv. Um, this part dates around from what we read to around the Ottoman Empire, but essentially it's just narrow streets. It has a business on the bottom and then uh, living quarters above. They're obviously renovated now, but you still get kind of the old feel vibe of the area. And it just seems like a good place to walk and hang out. The architecture is really cool. The fact that they have ancient architecture mixed in with the modern city. So you're just walking and you randomly run into, hey, here's some ancient architecture from back in the day. Plovdiv was inhabited like 8,000 years ago, but it's clear that the Roman Empire, as they did anywhere else they went, had an effect on the architecture. So you're going to see a lot of that here. But I don't know. It's just living in harmony with modern technology, modern buildings, and then you get to stumble upon this beautiful thing. We did stumble upon some more runes, and upon further research, it actually looks like they did actually build their houses on top of the runes without realizing what they were doing. So that's one reason why it's mixed in with the architecture. And what we found apparently is a public forum with some shops and other cool things like that. It's interesting because it's also right next to a highway right here. Crazy, crazy, but cool. These are all free to just come in and walk around the old town of Plovdiv and see all of the old ruins. Um, 
it's pretty cool. Check it out, we keep discovering new things. This is like some sort of uh, atrium or something like that. Old Roman columns is the word I'm looking for. We have an archaeologist on our hands. Indiana Jones here. So this marker on the ground and over here are actually where the stadium starts. And going up the street is where it continues. While almost none of the stadium is ex actually excavated, part of it is. And oddly, it's uh, underneath this H&M store. So we're going to go check that out. And maybe shop some too, I don't know. Check it out. Modern clothes with uh, ancient uh, ancient flair. It's so cool. It's literally just right into the store. You do have to pay a fee to actually go down there. So we'll just uh, marvel from the H&M. So this is an overview of the stadium. Um, basically it gives a good visual. This is the entrance for the gladiators and this wall is actually right over here. And uh, there used to be an aqueduct right here where they brought water from the mountains. But we're gonna go through here and come out here. But all the way over here is where the people or the guests uh, entered and this is where those markers were at. Let's go exploring. Check it out. This is it in all its glory. JK. As usual, this whole area is open and uh, they just kind of let you climb up here and sit on the seats. Or precariously on the ledge. They do have a restaurant overlooking the ruins, so we just popped in for a drink. I got a Carlsberg and they brought me chips with it. Uh, interesting. I don't even know what place it's called. Either way, it's a restaurant by the uh, fountain in the park. We decided to eat dinner here so we can watch the fountain show in Plavdiv and just enjoy this show. And then head on to uh, Sofia, Bulgaria tomorrow. But so far, a really great experience.